channel. So right now I am pretty much smack bang in the middle of my creative arts degree. I wanted to take stock and see what were the five most important things that I have learned in art school so far. And hopefully it can help you in your art journey as well. Okay, let's get started! No idea why I thought of this in the first place, but I thought that if you want to go to art school, you have to be able to paint realistically. I learned very quickly that photorealistic painting is just one out of hundreds of different art styles. Another thing that a lot of people say to me and what I also thought was that you have to know how to draw. So people come to me and say, oh, you must be so good at drawing. No, I can hardly draw. Illustration is also just one thing out of a hundred things you can do. There are so many different branches to arts. You can do textiles, you can do painting, you can do sculpture, you can do ceramics, you can do digital art, conceptual art, media art. And none of these things really require you to paint realistically or to know how to draw. Besides, you go to art school to learn these things. So if you want to learn to draw, you can learn how to draw in art school. You don't have to know how to do it before you go there. So some things that I learned that I had never heard of before I went to art school was difference between different paints, so for example acrylic, oil and watercolor. I learned that you can actually mix paints with mediums, you have to prime your canvas. I learned the basics of sculpture and textiles. Now mind you, at least at my uni, you do have to do a lot of learning yourself. But there is always a person who shows you how to use the practical tools. You don't really need to go to art school to learn all the practical stuff anymore though. The internet is full of free tutorials to learn to paint, to do sculpt, to do anything pretty much. But I am the sort of person who really thrives on deadlines and someone sort of expecting something from me. And I really do want that piece of paper in the end as well. So uni for me was the right choice. But if you're not into that stuff, then I think you can learn online as well and become an artist that way. My professors have been very consistent about having a concept behind your artwork. You can't just paint a pretty field of flowers and hand that in and expect that to be that. You can paint the field of flowers, but you have to be able to explain why you did it. Is that a flower field from your childhood? What kind of meaning is attached to that field? And once you have that sort of concept, you put that down in an artist statement and I feel that is sort of a, a connection between you and your viewer. It gives your artwork context. Even the most abstract artworks have a concept. For example, movement of the artist on the canvas is one, or just abstraction. I know that this does not go for all the artists out there. I know some artists who only paint flowers and find success that way. But the way that they taught us at uni and how I feel it really is, is that unless you are super talented and have a very unique point of view just doing that, it is harder to find success without at least some of your art having a concept. And it's also a great place to start if you're stuck. Now I am a total theory buff. For the first year or so I was just immersing myself in theory and art history. With the help of art theory and history I got a solid understanding of different concepts behind art and things like representation, aesthetics, mediums, expression, semiotics and art movements like modernism, postmodernism. And I feel like you really need to kind of at least know the basics of these things in order to have a starting point from where you can start to build your personal art journey. On the other hand though, and this is what I learned the hard way, theory won't make the artwork for you. Eventually you have to move theory to the back seat and work on your craft. There is a reason why they teach you the theory and the art history. In the end, obviously, it is about the balance between the two. I feel like there's a lot of people who kind of don't realize this one actually and I didn't either. Being an artist is just like being a nurse, a shopkeeper or an accountant. You decide that's what you want to do and then you go and you learn how to do it. There's some sort of myth around that artists are these 
tortured geniuses who were born with a paintbrush in their hands and were doing amazing oil paintings at age 5. No. Unless you were Picasso, no, that's not true. You have to practice to become an artist and decide that your job is to be an artist. I think this is so important. Making that decision, at least for me, made me feel more like a job and made me more motivated to do all the work that comes with it. And on the days when I feel like I don't really want to do anything, I have to remind myself this is my job, I have to do this even if I don't feel like it. I don't really refer to myself as an art student anymore, not because I feel like I am so good at doing art, but it's because I don't think I will magically turn into an artist when I actually graduate. I feel like I became an artist on the day that I decided to become one. It might sound a bit depressing to know that you will never be truly original, but it's just the truth. For a year or so there I was completely paralyzed by the need to be completely original. I kept thinking, but everything's been done before, how can I possibly think of something new and original? But the truth is, we are continuously influenced by the world around us. You use reference pictures all the time, whether they are in your head, or in front of you, or on the computer screen. You are influenced by the artists in the past, and those artists were influenced by the artists in their past. Even Picasso found inspiration in African wooden masks. Just because you can't be completely original doesn't mean your art is not unique. As long as you keep creating art, you keep working on it, you keep practicing, you will find your own personal style of interpreting the world around you. Once I realized this, creating art became so much easier and I feel like I can do whatever I want to do. Because even though my ideas might not be completely original, they are unique unique in the way that I create them. Please leave a comment below letting me know what was the most important thing you learned in art school. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel below, leave a comment or like the video. I will see you next time. Bye!